titties like a woman, I got titties like a woman. I got titties like a woman, titties like a woman, titties like a woman. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I got my man boobs. Titties like a woman, titties like a woman, I got titties like a woman. I got titties like a woman. I got titties like a woman. Titties like a woman, titties like a woman, titties like a woman. I got titties like a woman. I got titties like a woman. Yeah, yeah. Titties like a woman. Titties like a woman. I got titties like titties like a woman. You better look around And you may not know what to do Mr. Pregnant might be coming next to you Snacky snacky Mr. Pregnant My rubber chicken Mr. Pregnant With my rubber chicken What's your name? Give me help. My name is Mr. Pregnant uh, Give me elbow, elbow, elbow You know why? Oh, never see that? That's sexual harassment. Yeah. Do you guys know that? You I touch got, me. I got it on thing. You want to squeeze my tits? I got it on thing. You want to squeeze my... Can I get the pound? Give me a pound, man. You gonna leave me hanging? You gonna leave me hanging on camera? Just give me a pound, man. This is embarrassing. Just give me a pound. Just give me a little pound. Come on, man. You know, I won't follow you till you give me a pound. Psych! You saw that? I psyched him, man. Like I'm driving a car. Can I get the pound? Excuse me. Hello, ma'am. Excuse me, miss. Can I get the pound? The pound. Give me a pound. Psych! No, you're supposed to pound me. Pound me. No, no. Pound me. No, I want to do this and you're going to do pound. Pound me. Give me a pound. Give me a pound. I psyched you. I psyched you already. You got psyched. You know what the psych is? Right? I left you hanging like... You get it? Like... It's kind of humiliating because I leave you hanging, you know? Yeah, I hope you get it, right? <laughs> <laughs> High five! Psych! <laughs> is that all this is about? High five! High five! High five! High five! High five! Psych! High five! Come on, high five! High five! Well, high five! High five! I won! And you may not know what to do. Mr. Pregnant might be coming next to you. Snacky snail. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? Good. Why do you have a pan on your head? Excuse me? Why do you have a pan on your head? Why oh, I have a pan on my head? I have a pan on my head? Yeah, you do. Isn't that awesome? Because I'm Mr. Pregnant. <laughs> do you know who I am? No, I don't. What's your name? Terry? Uh -huh. How are you doing? Good, how are you? So what's up? I'm sightseeing. You what? I'm sightseeing. You're sightseeing? Yes. Am I a good sight to see or Mr. Pregnant? You are a sight to see. So, are you from Canada? No. Well, my name is Mr. Pregnant and I'm visiting, visiting Canada. Okay. And I'm doing a video today on how to pick up a woman. Oh, okay. And my goal today is to show people all over the internet how to pick up women. Okay. I'm gonna show everybody that a man with big tits, big tummy, fake teeth put on his head, with big bulgy eyes, is gonna pick up women. So what's your name? Okay, I'm Terry. You're Terry? I'm Terry. My name is Mr. Pregnant. Hi, Mr. Pregnant. So do you find me sexy? Um, truthfully? Yes. You don't find me, she doesn't find me sexy. <laughs> now this is where the true skills of how to pick up women artist comes in. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm getting her to bypass my sexiness and see me for the deep person I am. 
Now here's my pickup line. So miss, yes. you look like a, a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's my pickup line. Good luck. Huh? <laughs> okay folks, okay, okay, never mind that, it's trial and error, trust me a lot of guys who pick up women on the internet, they don't show you stuff like this, but I document it all, so I'm going to show you guys how to pick up women. Hello everybody, guess who, it's me Mr. Pregnant, so I'm just walking on the streets, minding my own business, and you know what I just saw? I just saw a, pu a public toilet. You guys ever seen a public toilet before? Well, Mr. Pregnant, I'm gonna show you guys a public toilet. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. There you have it, folks. A public toilet. Have you guys ever seen a public toilet before? A public toilet. You guys see it? You guys see it? A public toilet. Let's analyze this public toilet up close. Now, right about now, Mr. Pregnant is gonna open this toilet. Let's open it. Let's open it. And right about now, Mr. Pregnant, you know what Mr. Pregnant is going to do? I'm gonna sit on this public toilet. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. There you have it, folks. Mr. Pregnant is on a public toilet. And right about now, and right about now, Mr. Pregnant is gonna take a poop on this public toilet. You guys ready? Let's do this. There you have it, folks. There you have it, folks. Public toilet. Check out my website, www.mrpregnant.com. Snacky snake. A and B, C and D. Hello, everybody. <laughs> it's me again, Mr. Pregnant. <laughs> so how is everyone doing tonight? Well, as you all can see, I'm just here relaxing. You know, enjoying my time. And, uh, you know, just checking out some of the things people have to say. You know, I usually read all the comments. You know, because I feel, you know, I would like to get the opinions of the public. You know, people leave some good comments. People leave bad comments. You know. <coughs> I have a couple of videos on YouTube. I have videos on Google. I have videos on Yahoo, AOL. I've uploaded some of my videos to a lot of websites, you know. I mean, I've had some good experiences, and I've had some bad experiences, you know. I don't know. Sometimes I ask myself if, am I really funny, or do I just look for attention? You know, sometimes I ask myself if I have a mental case, you know. You know, ever since I was a child, people always treated me like, like garbage, you know. People always called me dumb, called me stupid call me fat, you know, call me ugly, I mean, I mean, imagine at the age of five, my
my stepfather saying to me, you are one ugly son of a bitch. You know, that kind of stuff, you know. I mean, when you're a child, and someone that you look up to, look at you and call you ugly, it does have an effect on you. Um, so as a child, I always had a low self-esteem. You know, I always believe I was fat. I always believe I was ugly. I always believe I was dumb. I always believe I was an idiot. I was never good at sports. I tried football, basketball, tennis. I mean, you name it. I just couldn't do it. I wasn't good at school. So my mother took me out of school because I was a slow learner. She tried to get me to learn a trade. I wasn't even good at that. You know. The only thing I ever did right in my life was make people laugh. I think that's about the only good thing I'm good at. Just getting out there and making people laugh. You know. When I was a child and I tried to make my friends laugh, they would call me stupid, they would call me an idiot, they would call me a big dummy, you know. And ever since I was a child, I would try so hard to make people laugh. Because I figured if I could make people laugh, I don't know, people would appreciate me or like me more. I always wanted to be accepted. My mother was never around. So I grew up with my father, stepfather. You know. I had some good experiences, I had some bad. I look at the comments people leave on my video. Damn. I mean, every day, man. They send me emails. They call me fat. They call me ugly. I mean, every single day, man. Every day. Every day. It never stops. <laughs> when I sit down to create a video, you know, you think I'm trying to be dumb? You think I'm trying to be intelligent? You think I'm trying to prove a point? Do you think I'm trying to look stupid? I love making people laugh. That's why I do the videos is because if I make you laugh then I'm happy this is not about me this is about the passion I have and the passion I have is making you laugh that is my dream And if you laugh, then I live my dream. But boy, are you so fat and you so ugly and you so nasty and 
You're so disgusted. <laughs> I had this girl send me this email. <laughs> she said, you're the most disgusting, despicable human being I've ever seen. All I want to do is make you laugh. <laughs> I would do what I can to make you laugh. As long as you laugh, you made my day. I want to know someone is sitting all the way in, in France or Germany. I want to know someone is sick. <laughs> and they can look at my video and they can laugh. I want to know someone is somewhere out there and dying, cancer, AIDS, whatever it is, and they can look at my video and feel better. I want to know someone who is depressed, someone who is stressed out, someone who has problems. I want to know. I want to know when you're having a bad day, you can look at my video and <laughs> and I can put a smile on your face. I know I'm not funny. Do you think I'm here because I'm famous? Do you think I'm here because... I make money. I am here because I never made it. If I was funny, I wouldn't be on YouTube. I would not be on Google. I wouldn't be on AOL. I wouldn't be on Clipshack. You think I would post my videos all over the internet? If I thought I was funny, I'd be up there. But I come here, and when I post my videos, I mean, things just just work. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your whole family. You want some breath? Happy Thanksgiving to you and your whole family. You want some breath? Get your turkey breast. Get your turkey breast for Thanksgiving. Ain't nothing like some sweet man boobs. Turkey breast. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is Atelstan Fitzgerald, who the first, aka Mr. Pregnant. Oops, did I just spit? That is so disgusting. That's so classless. I spit, look. What the hell is that? I ate that yesterday. Disregard it. If I start a show, I want to start a show. Listen to me. I have been serving you son of a bitches for years, making videos for you all. I ask you guys for one favor. I want to start a show in Hollywood, man. This is big. This is big. I can smell it. I can smell the red carpet on the tip of my tongue. Ah, ah, Hollywood, yeah, I can. Listen, just... Would you come to my concert? I want to start a concert and I need 200 of my fans to come. If I could get 200 people to come to my concert in Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Richard Pryor. Now Richard Pryor died. Robin Williams, Chris Rock, Jim Carrey, they, they're not, no pun, not even, not even, not even, not even, whoever, man, whoever is famous, they can't touch me. Would you come to my concert? That's all I want to know, please. 
call my fans, man. Help me. Help me. I want to put a show together. Mr. Pregnant in concert. I got titties like a woman. The pot, the fake teeth. I'm doing all my songs. I'm doing all my tracks, man. People come. Would you come to my concert? This video is, if, is would you come to my concert? Go to my description below. Add me to your Facebook. Would you come to my concert in Hollywood? I want to have a concert, man. Mr. Pregnant in concert, a one-hour show. And you don't have to pay much, might be $10. I don't know, but it's not going to be expensive. Would you come to my show? Would you come to my show? Just tell me, man. Tell me. If, if you son of a bitch is not coming to my show, all my years of work have been done in vain. You all can't do this to me. Come to my show. If you're going to come to my show, add me to your Facebook, press 1, leave a comment, man. Let me know if you'll come to Hollywood and come to Mr. Pregnant Show. This is it, man. 2014, it's time for me to walk on the red carpet. And you know what? I'm going to make it happen. Would you come to my show? What, did I say that? I said, right. Go to the description and add me to your freaking net, social network, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. All I have, everything. And, and talk to me. Leave a comment. Tell me something, man. I make video for you, son of a bitches, all my life. You all can't just do that for me. Just do that. Just come to my show. And, I'm, and you all not doing anything, really. I still have to entertain you all, man. I still have to. You see how people come in and look like a crazy person. Would you come to my show? Please, I'm begging. Come to my show, man. Just need 200 people to come to my show. I'll have a one-man concert in Hollywood every freaking week, man. I'll be a superstar. And you all do? And, 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 and if I become famous, I'll buy, I'll buy, I'll buy beer for every freaking body. Yeah. No, I won't buy beer. That's cheap. I'll do something. Just, I, I just do for me. That's all I want. Do for me now. I'll take all my, I, I, I don't care. It's not about the money. I'll take all the money and donate it to charity. I don't care about the money, man. It's about prestige. It's about prestige. I tell Stan Fitzgerald all the first, aka Mr. Pregnant in concert. Would you come to my show? Would you come to my freaking show, man? No more, no more Mr. Pregnant video. Come to my show. Come see me in concert. Would you come to my show? That's all I want to know. Just tell me in the comment, man. You'll come to my freaking show. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm going to take aspirin. I have a freaking headache now. If you've seen funny, then you haven't seen me. If you've heard jokes, then you haven't heard me. I'm gonna bring you brilliant comedy. Yeah! One time I was playing guitar, and no one could hear me. I was unplugged. One time I couldn't open my piano, and then I realized the keys were inside. And by the time I got it open, I cut my finger while playing. I guess the black keys were sharp. One time I left my car keys on the piano. By the time I came back, I couldn't remember which one it was. So I took all 89 keys. No, I like starting my car with piano keys. It helps me see sharp. If you've seen funny, then you haven't seen me. If you've heard jokes, then you haven't heard me. I'm gonna bring you brilliant comedy. Yeah! The most intriguing metaphor for to encapsulate I saw I see I saw a, a, a ginormous when I see a perfect correlation between mutually exclusive field and I'm specifically referring to this within the con context of metaphors and analogies we know both no metaphors and analogies is finding a commonality between two different forms of existence now there's a clear distinction you know between verbal um, why are you saying verbal there's a clear distinction between a metaphor and an analogy Right, and we will we'll get into the differentiating factor because they're mutually exclusive and they're always used interchangeably and out of context. An analogy is when you find commonalities between two different forms of existence, right? But a metaphor is also when you find a commonality between two different forms of, in, 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 for two different forms of existence. So if two concepts in, in, encapsulate the same idea, of course there will be a mis misconstrued, misconstrued here between dialects and dialogues, discourses, deba debates, etc. The distinction is, is when there's a parallel common denominator between an analogy and what you were referring the analogy to. 
like when I say, um, I'll give you the, in fact, I'll give you uh, the, the perfect embodiment of, a, of a, 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 an analogy that I truly feel encapsulate what the rudiments or the essence or the, fent- the fundamental of um, great writing is centered around. And that is painting a picture. Painting a picture is, is an analogy, but the, but the irony here, painting a picture is actually an idiom. You remember um, um, idioms derived from metaphors, when, whenever a word takes on a new meaning or a connotation, and, and then it is, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I apologize, I'm processing too many things at, at that point, but let's, let's stay on topic. Painting a picture is an analogy used to describe, painting a picture with words is an analogy of a painting used to describe how you write by using words to paint a picture, right? So painting a picture can be used as the analogy and a painter, a writer is like a painter, is the metaphor. So you see, the metaphor is the term that is coined to de- define, right, a commonality between a different form of existence. A metaphor is when you explain primarily what the, better, the butterfly effect, like the butterfly effect was a term that was coined by a mathematician slash meteorologist. Right when he say, "Well, sudden, sudden stroke or the fragility of a uh, of a fragile bottle butterfly's flap," right, can have a chain reaction, domino, futuristic effect, can can, can cause cataclysmic global um, global warming, thunderstorm, lightning, or any kind of um, natural disaster. Well, not natural, but which predicated from an actual source. The source is the butterfly. The the butterfly effect is called a metaphor. The explanation of the fragility and the flaps of the butterfly and the fragility, how it could extend and escalate into something tragic, is the analogy. So the analogy takes on the explanatory position. The analogy falls in this explanatory predicament to say, man, you're like a bull. You like a bull is actually a, um, what's it called? What's what's it called? Um, um, What's it called? You're like a, like a simile, right? But he's a bull. That's a, that's a metaphor. Explaining what a bull, when a bull charges, like you see in Matador when the guy has the whatever that stuff is and the bull charges, that's a Matador. When you start talking about the whole biological process of a Matador or, or the ecology between the, 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 the buffalo charges, the human and, the, and human sports, what you see is the, ex, the analogical explanation. When you say the man is a bull, the bull is a metaphor. So you see, there's quite a clear distinction between a meta- metaphor and an analogy. And a, a metaphor, could, and I will use a metaphor to, to explain a metaphor ironically. A metaphor is when there's a term to, to define a commonality between a different form of existence. An analogy is an explanatory post- position it takes on. Like when someone says to me, I tell son Fitzgerald Holder, why do you call yourself Mr. Pregnant? I say, well, Mr. Pregnant is a metaphor for what? I say it's a metaphor for full of it. Now, the irony here is when you use a metaphor to explain a metaphor, that is counterintuitive or counterproductive because the objective to, of explaining a metaphor is breaking down uh, an, uh, something from a different form, of, form of, um, different form of existence into a literal interpretation. So when I say my name is, uh, I use a metaphor to define a metaphor, it is ironic, right? Because you use literal, lit, literal devices to, to break down and dissect a metaphor. So... I hope that helped. The whole objective, my whole objective was to have a very casual, trivial, mundane, just chit chat, you know. And every now and then it transcends. You, you just, you just segue into this intriguing idea. So, metaphors and an analogies are like um, the non-literal aspect of linguistics. Figurative devices. You know, you know. I make a video for. I'm always making videos for fans. I'm always making videos for fans. It's about time I make video, videos for haters. This video is for haters. Haters. Internet haters. No more fans. I want to make videos for haters. People who hate my videos, this is for you. You know why you hate me? You know why you hate everybody's video? You know why you just hate, period? I tell you why. I tell you why you hate. Because you're jealous. You're jealous because I'm famous. You're jealous. You're jealous because I'm famous. You're jealous. You're jealous because I'm famous. You're jealous. Because I'm famous and you're not. It's that simple. You're just jealous because I am famous and you are not. You little stinking, nasty, low-life pig shit, pig shit, internet crab, you internet termite, you viral cockroach, huh? you virtual infested herpes, STD, internet disease. You're just jealous. <coughs> Excuse me. You're just jealous. You're just jealous because I'm famous. You're jealous. Because you're jealous because I'm famous. And you're not. 
But guess what? Guess what, you lazy, lackadaisical son of a bitch, you stinking piece of cow shit, fat, ugly slob. You can be famous too. You just have to go get up and work. Duh. Duh. Did the light bulb go on? Ping, 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 ping. And now it's time for Jeopardy, and you've just, I, I just answered the question, you lost. Just get up and work. Get up and work, you little life piece of shit. Don't sit on the internet and hate. A video for haters. This video for haters. If you hate her, and you hate my video, you're just jealous because I'm famous and you're not. But you can do it too. I'll say it for the second time. Just go to work. Get up and work. Do the work. You fat, stinking, low life piece of hog shit. You hog shit. You donkey shit. You cow shit. You pig shit. You snake shit. And you shit shit, and you shit shit shit, diarrhea, diarrhea, and more shit. The other one is idiots. Or some idiot on the, on the internet always saying to me, Mr. Pregnant, you're insane. Or some idiot, some culprit, some low life, some, some virtual cockroach, some little internet too, mate, some little internet backtrack. That's it, call you all, you know. Scum. Little nasty internet scum. But I always gotta, I'm talking about a little scum, a little nasty low life. You know you, you know who you are, you little stink bum, you filthy piece of shit, you nasty. Don't sit behind your computer and you always got something negative to say. Eh, your low life. You know why you always got me you know why you always gotta sit behind your computer and say something negative? You know what I'm talking to? You know what I'm talking to? I wanna be very specific. I want to specific collise. I wanna specific collise this video. To you. You that little negative, um, pessimistic, antisocial, troll, internet hater, everything wanna be you, everything negative, right? You you stink. You, 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 let me tell you, let me say this to you. You don't have a life. You don't have a life. You know why you don't have a life? Because you stink. You're an idiot. I'm going to troll you. I'm going to troll the troll. I troll the troll. Don't you guys realize that? I troll the troll. I, I troll the troll. And today, I am going to troll the troll. <laughs> Three of us are really excited to bring up this next comic. He's fucking hilarious, yeah. you guys. Please welcome to the stage. Can say it at the same time? No. Oh. Yeah. Adelson. It's Gerald. Holder the first. Woo! 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 Finally, someone pronounces my name right. Good, good evening. <laughs> Hello. You shook my hand like six times, man. Yeah, dude. You got a good handshake. I have a good handshake? Yeah. You don't, no sexual in your windows, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So good evening, everyone. Yeah, what's yeah, up? This is, a, this is a very fragile mic. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of myself at two in the morning. Look at my groove on. Man. The only difference is it's not as hard as this. <laughs> oh, there's kids in the audience, so let me keep it clean. No, it's OK. Nah, nah. I'm talking about microphone, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm a comedian, right? I'm headlining. Yeah. yeah. Holy freaking crap, man. Thank you. Hey, you need a screwdriver to screw this. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. Stop being a slacker. <laughs> get it? <laughs> I should not. You know, when you say get it, you look shitty as a comedian, right? Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, you all ready for some? This is the worst mic I've ever seen. <laughs> what the frick, man? Yeah, I want to freaking move around, yo. Yeah, move a freaking wrong. Yeah. You all ready for jokes? Woo! Uh, what kind of jokes do I tell kids, man? <laughs> Why did this chicken cross the road? <laughs> I'm not giving a punchline because you already know it, right? All right, that was a very awkward point. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? This is Nestle. This, Nestle quick. Wow. Oh, it's mine. <laughs> yeah, I should point into the dirt, yo. Yeah, I'm turning this to quicksand. <laughs> <laughs> Man, don't cry at me. Need a tissue? <laughs> <laughs> I like this. This is pizza. Yeah. Oh shit, this pizza hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freaking killing it already. Yo. <laughs> yeah, I'm warming up. <laughs> All right, that was a shitty pause. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, yo. Yo, check this out, yo. You have a pipe and you have a bag on it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a bagpipe. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all could laugh, I have a lot of time on my hands. I have 15 minutes, right? Yeah. I'll yeah. just do 10. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> yeah, I didn't eat today, you know, I'm extremely hungry. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should sit on this amplifier and get a nice boost. <laughs> 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, hey, hey. So I'm Jewish? <laughs> get it? Because the Jews have the two little dreadlocks. <laughs> Any Jews in the audience? Because I sincerely apologize. <laughs> <laughs> it was not meant to be offensive. <laughs> yeah. What's this here, man? That's a mine? <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that mine is mine. <laughs> yeah, that joke was hilarious when I came up with it. <laughs> it was funny in my head. Yeah, there was, I need some water, man. I'm thirsty. Yeah. Psych! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh! oh. Psych, son. <laughs> I don't drink water, yo. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Holy crap, yo. This, what the frick is that turkey? Yeah, this reminds me of slavery. <laughs> <laughs> don't go back to me. Oh my don't god. Go back to Africa. Holy <laughs> crap, yo. A nuts bag. Empty, yo. Like this, this nuts, this bag went nuts. <laughs> hey, y'all know what happened to the black comedian? They bought the. You know what happened to the black comedian that performed on the farm? <laughs> yeah, when he left, all the chickens went missing. <laughs> that joke is hilarious! I'm not freaking serious, man. Yeah. Hey, y'all like my bow tie? Yeah. <laughs> y'all didn't laugh at anything at all. Man. <laughs> Nothing at all. That's so uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> is this Glendale or this is where? Glasgow Glass Park. Park. That's Glasgow Park is Gla where? Glasgow Park. Northeast Glasgow. Oh, you're, oh, no, oh, you confused me. Northeast? That's a lot of direction. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my friend name is Glenn, right? He lives in Glendale. <laughs> his, uh, his mailing address has two Glens. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't supposed to be funny. That was supposed to be intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to disappoint you all. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. I have just turned this show into an open mic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen on the internet, wherever this video is, now you first saw it here. <laughs> yeah, right, my material, you know, yeah. You know, the disadvantage with this joke is it takes 10 seconds to give it, but 15 seconds to close it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Keep laughing, God. folks, till I fix this. <laughs> yeah, I, am, I am curing the joke right now. <laughs> Woo! Sorry, microphone, you have just been screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm watching cable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm watching my favorite show too, though. Your wa the wire. <laughs> yeah, you all could laugh, I have a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, and how do I know it's the wire? Because it's all black. <laughs> <laughs> And you know this why I have dirt? That's ex the exact specification of the show. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Yeah. Yo, it says all this, it says 4.45 p.m. on it. Yo, I guess this cable is time warner. <laughs> yeah, that last one was very shitty. <laughs> cable vision! <laughs> I have cable vision! <laughs> Yo, can I take this home tonight, yo? Yeah, I want to have me a one-night stand. <laughs> yeah, that's a self-deprecating joke. Yeah, I am a police officer. Stand down. <laughs> that's a deep joke. <laughs> I should shoot it because it's black. <laughs> Are you all there? What's something wrong with shooting a black stand? <laughs> yeah, I call this... Understand. <laughs> Overstand. Yeah. Too many stands for me. Can I do one of my masterpiece, please? Yes. Ha <laughs> ha
this open mic To me, I'm, I'm retarded. Everyone thinks I'm weird. I don't know. 
I see everyone. I see everyone having conversations, but I don't know. 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 Be a man, man. connect with anyone me I don't connect with no one I've never connected I don't like to connect I don't connect with no one. I don't connect with no one. I don't connect with no one. And I'll never, and I'll never, I'll never, I'll never connect with no one. No one. When I was a child, my uncle, uncle used to call me retarded. He used to say he's retarded. He used to say I'm a guy, 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 guy. Who do you see? Who go Romans? Tell everyone. <laughs> Look at him. He's a character, yo. He's a character. He's a movie. He looked like he gave a movie. How oh, oh, he act like that? Like he's a movie. I don't connect with no one. I don't connect with no one. I don't connect with no one. I do not connect with anyone. If you want to book me for a show, book me for a show. If you want me to lecture, if you want to, I just don't connect with no one. I do not connect. I don't connect. Don't try to connect with me. I have a connective issues. I do not connect with any anyone. I don't. I, I don't con I don't want to connect with anyone. I don't want. I don't want to build relationship with anyone. When I first met him. I didn't know what to think of this guy, <laughs> if I'm being honest, but he's become one of my favorite people in comedy. Guys, for, give it up for Addison Patel, hold the first!
So yeah, now I'm ready to do some freaking jokes. You all ready? Yeah. First to begin, how do I look, yo? Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Silence. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Brown shoes, red socks, pink pants. Let me finish, please. <laughs> I apologize. I apologize. As I was rudely interrupting, I'm going to start. It's okay. Is that my light or someone's taking my picture? Oh, turn the flash on. You're confusing me. <laughs> Where was I? This is the second time I'm attempting this joke. Anyway, so I'm ready. So hold on, let me start over. How do I look? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Enough. <laughs> yeah, don't whistle to me. Do I look like a freaking girl to you? <laughs> whistle, whistle, whistle. <laughs> Yo, so I'm wearing brown shoes, red socks, pink pants. Gray shirt, I'm um, green shirt, yeah. What can I say, man? I'm a colored man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't hear me, man. I feel like you're patronizing me. <laughs> yeah. Patronizing me. If you, if you wanna laugh, laugh. If you don't wanna laugh, don't laugh. You, you know what? Patronize me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you all ready for some killer material? Say yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, you all like my bow tie? Yeah, yeah, I used to live in a gated community, but now I'm on parole. <laughs> Take you don't think you're hard as I, I can wait, yeah. yeah. Ever since I put this jacket on, I've been sweating, yo. Yeah, that's because it's a blazer. Yo, that's some killer freaking jokes, man. Yeah. Yo, 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 I was walking down the street, right? And I found a Visa credit card. Why are you leaving? Why are you leaving? You don't like coming for us? Huh? Come on, man, stick for five minutes. Stick for five freaking minutes. Come on, man, that's not my ego. Why can you do that to me? Why are you leave? Why are you leave? To hell with you. Anyway. No, 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 because it's me, man. Look how I'm dressed now. It's on my best clothes to come here. Yeah. So anyway, back to the material, right? So um, so y'all yeah, walking down the street, right? And I found a Visa credit card. Yeah, but you know what? Now technically it's a Discover. <laughs> okay, what the hell does that all mean? What does that freaking mean, man? <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling very. Hey, can I take this home? Can I take this home, anybody? Yeah, I want to have a one night stand. <laughs> I'm freaking killing it, yo. <laughs> Yo, I'm freaking killing it, huh? Hey, 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 guess what I'm doing? Yo, I'm watching Cable. <laughs> yeah, and I'm watching my favorite show too, The Wire. <laughs> yeah, how do I know it's The Wire? Cause it's all black. <laughs> yeah. Yo, it says 4.45 p.m. on it. Yo, I'm guessing this cable is Time Warner. <laughs> okay, that last joke was very, very shitty. <laughs> I don't know man, that joke was funny on paper. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it's either I'm not funny or it's the pen. <laughs> Yo, time for laughing at my jokes, man. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I sell ice cream on a one-way street, and that kind of sucks because my customers never come back. <laughs> okay, did I stutter? <laughs> That's a f no, because how you how could you all laugh at freaking that man? Yo, I, yo, so I was walking, yo, so, so I came to Universal Studio today, right? So I was walking past the movie theater, and I saw a big red neon sign floating across the screen. The sign, that's a love shake. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be in a band, girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I was rudely really interrupted. What was the joke I was giving you? Hold on, hold on, stay quiet, please. What was the joke I was giving you again? I'm freaking, let me take my jacket off, man. Yeah, I'm freaking warm. Yeah. Ladies, check this out, ladies. Check this out, man. Huh? I beg your pardon? I'm not doing it for you. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not doing it for you. So yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, you all want to hear one of my best impersonations ever? Yeah. Oh, man.
the song. Okay, can I do my next masterpiece, please? Oh, get ready, or what the freaking kill? Stop shaking, Tommy. Oh, this is my favorite. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. Oh, cookie, 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 start with C. P is for pussy. Good evening, Internet. It's me, Atel Stan Fitzgerald, who are the first, no pot, no teeth, no Mr. Pregnant. None of that bullshit! I can't be my freaking self on the Internet. Why I always have to wear a pot? Why I have to wear a pot like a damn jackass? Why I have to put fake teeth? I have beautiful freaking teeth. Why am I wearing fake teeth and a pot? And I'm shirtless showing my man boobs. I am a respectable individual. I am a respectable person. I'm not wearing no freaking pot. I'm not wearing no freaking fake teeth. Look how beautiful my teeth is, man. Look at that. That is my teeth. That's my freaking teeth. My big, beautiful freaking teeth. I go buy a stinking, nasty Halloween teeth. Walk around going, my snackers now, snackers now. My name is Mr. Pregnant. Carly meant to call him, but black and a bullshit man. I'm a man. I'm a freaking man. Walking around Times Square in Manhattan, New York with Red Victoria Secret Lingerie Panty and Bra. $65 I waste on that bullshit. For what? I want to be freaking. Why I want? I want to be me now, man. Why I look up in the air to say that? I don't need to think about that. I want to be faking me. If you don't want to be my fan, go get away. Go, go, go. You was never my fan in the first place. If you, and if you want to support me, support faking me. I must be able to pull out my faking iPad and my faking car in the middle of no faking way in Hollywood, California, pursuing my dreams and talk to people and connect to people. I don't have to do no, no other. I don't have to do no other crazy antics. I'm serious, man. I have a freaking headache from saying this. Relax. I'm not going to freaking cry. Actually, I'm, I cry a few times in my video. And now I've gotten so much support. I'll never cry to you son of a stinking nasty filthy bitches who say I'm fake crying. Go and suck a rotten egg, man. Go and suck. You all are true. You all are freaking internet bully. How you can come and tell me my crying fake? I pour my heart out to you stinking nasty fans. You know what I'm saying? That No, I don't mean that, man. The good fans, I love you. Don't come and tell me I fake crying, man. I pour my freaking heart and soul out on this stinking, dirty, filthy, nasty, dirty, nasty internet. And a stinking, nasty bully. Come and tell me I fake crying. Go and eat a rotten egg, man. Go and take a rotten egg. Eat a rotten egg and swallow it. Go and eat a rotten egg, man. You stinking pig shit. Good evening. I'm going to dominate the LA comedy community. I'm going to, L I'm going to dominate stand-up comedy in California, in Hollywood. I'm I'm going to dominate comedy. I'm I am going to be the next biggest comedian to blow up in Hollywood. I am I am confident. Me, I tell Stan Fitzgerald Fuller, I am confident 
that I'm going to going to going to put your freaking thoughts together, dude. I am confident that I am going to be what the frick? Why are you having a freaking tongue twister now? You couldn't hold your tongue twister for when I didn't freaking need you. What I'm trying to say is, I'm going to be the next biggest freaking comedian in Hollywood. In, 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 in where? Where am I? I'm in Hollywood. Fuck. Fuck this video, man. Fuck it. Am I live? Am I live? You are. I am live. <laughs> I am live. <laughs> am I live? I am live. <laughs> I am live. <laughs> so, I am live, yo. And I'm doing a special. Sit back uh, uh, relax and enjoy. Because what is the frick is this? You all see this? You all see this thing that's flying? That's a fly. Move fly. Don't, don't, don't interrupt my performance. Sorry, as I was really interrupted. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Because you are all in for a magnificent performance. Why my freaking head scratch me, man, in the middle of my performance? This is going to be a great show. Hey, hey, check out, check how I look. Check how I freaking look, man. Yeah, I want green socks. Um... Pink pants, um, brown jacket. Yo, hey, hey, I'm wearing brown shoes too, man. Yeah. Oh, no. What can I say, man? I'm a color man. <laughs> you all get that joke, color? You know, as a comedian, I'm not supposed to explode. Explode. I'm having a tongue twister. As a comedian, I'm not supposed to explode. Forget that joke, man. So, um, hey, hey, hey. You all like my bow tie? <laughs> Camera's on me. Look at me, camera. Hey, hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hey, officer. I'm sorry, this is going to be unprofessional, but hi mom, hey, you all look at me on TV. Pasadena TV, man, I'm on television. Yeah, I'm, I'm a comedian in Hollywood. <laughs> Ooh, let me breathe. So, you all like my bow tie? <laughs> yeah, you are used to live in a gated community, but now I'm on parole. <laughs> yeah, I wrote that joke all by myself, man. <laughs> That's a very, I'm feeling very hot. I'm extremely hot. Yeah, man, I don't know, man. Ever since I put this jacket on, I've been sweating. Yeah, that's cause it's a blizzard. <laughs> oh, I laugh at my own jokes. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, um, hey, 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 hold on. I'm supposed, am I supposed to be behind the bike or in front of the bike? <laughs> or should I be on the side of the bike? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hey, y'all like my briefcase? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> y'all purchased this briefcase today, yo. Yeah, but I'm probably gonna take it back tomorrow. Yeah, it's a briefcase. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, man, that's a killer joke, man. Okay, let me put the hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm hiding them. I, I have OCD and I have ADD and I have all the rest of these. <laughs> yeah, they, you can call, for short, sure, you can call me Alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man. Hey, check my phone out, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm a rapper, yo. Yeah, every time my phone rings, it goes bling bling. <laughs> yeah, that's a kind of joke, man. Yeah, yeah, you know what? You all know why I got this, this this shirt? I picked this shirt off of a tree. Yeah, man, that's why it's green. <laughs> hey, you want hey? I do a lot of open mics, right? So I went on open mic two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, I went on open mic two weeks ago and I had to make it official. So what I did was this. Yeah, and then I call it open mic. <laughs> yeah. The disadvantage of this joke is it takes 10 seconds to give it, but 45 seconds to close it. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, microphone. You just got screwed. <laughs> Yo, is it me or this microphone look like an electronic ice cream? <laughs> hey, guess what I'm doing now, yo? <laughs> yeah, yo, I'm watching cable. <laughs> Yeah, yo, and I'm watching my favorite show too, The Wire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, how do I know it's The Wire? Cause it's all black. You all see it's all black? <laughs> yeah. Yo, and it says 4.45 p.m. on it, yo. <laughs> yeah, I guess this cable is Time Warner. <laughs> yeah, put it by my eyes and walk around like this. Ooh, I got cable vision. I got cable vision. <laughs> 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 Yo, I'm killing it! Hey, I'm killing it, man! Oh, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, can I take this home tonight? Yeah, I'd like to take this home tonight, man. Yeah, <laughs> I would have me a one-night stand. <laughs> 
Yeah. I am a police officer. Stand down. Yeah. Hey, I should shoot it because it's black. You all get it? Yeah. That's a self-deprecating joke. If there are any minorities in the audience, please accept my sincere apology. No, I'm being sarcastic. Whew. Let me breathe. But you know what? I'm a good police officer, so you can stand up. Yeah, man. Whew. Ooh, let me take my jacket off, I'm sweating, man. Yeah, man. You was walking past a movie theater, right? And I saw a big red neon sign floating across the screen. Ooh, yeah, the sign said, coming soon. So I waited, yo. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I used to sell ice cream on a one-way street. Yeah, that kind of sucks because my customers never come back. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I'm half black and I'm half Jewish. Yeah, check this out, right? I'm half black and I'm half Jewish, right? Yeah. Whenever I go to a restaurant, I don't tip twice. <laughs> you all get it? Yeah. Okay, that was an offensive joke. If there's any Jews in the audience, please accept my sincere apology. <laughs> yeah, but I don't tip personally. <laughs> yeah, but now that I now I am going to because I've gotten. Uh, let's just move on. Let's just move on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know my party's extension. I don't know my party's extension. What is wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for calling the Hollywood No, you don't just answer the phone. Answer the phone. Yes, <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> This is unbelievable! Unbelievable! Last one. What? Maybe I need my special hat. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, by the way, I call this my bipolar look. Yeah, he's always. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at his face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I call this my bipolar look. Yeah, he's always angry and I'm always happy. <laughs> this is my good luck hat. Let me put my good luck hat on. Yeah, let's do this now, man. <laughs> yeah. I have my good luck hat on. Yeah, bipolar. Angry, happy. <laughs> Do y'all know what bipolar is, Google? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, good evening. Is this the hotel? That's correct. I'd like to make a reservation, please. Sure, hold on a second. One second is up, sir. Please hold on. Your call is being rerouted. I am not hanging. I apologize. Thank you for calling Hollywood Hotel Reservations. This is Victoria. May I ask for what date you are arriving? I'd like to make a reservation for the next available hotel, please. I'm sorry, say that again? I'd like to make a reservation for the next available hotel, please. Hotel? The next available room, I mean. I apologize. Yes, okay. Arriving on what day? That was quite a stupid error on my part, right? No, no. Are you no, like... No. Okay, okay. No. I'm, a, I'm arriving this Friday. Five nights. Thank you, and may I ask? Five, how many adults are in your party? Five nights and two days. Five nights and two days. No, 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 no. Five nights and five days. Sorry. English is not my first language, miss. Okay. I speak. All right. And I, may I ask, how many adults are in your party? I'm, I'm bringing myself. Uh, is animals allowed? Hello? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Is animals allowed? Is animals allowed? Animals, um, as far as the pets go, um, the, there's a $35 plus tax per night fee. Yeah. A maximum of two small. 
Can I? Okay, can I can I bring a goat? I have a goat. No, sir. I can't bring a goat. I just bought. I just bought my goat for. I just brought my goat. I can't bring my goat on the show. No, sir. So what do I do with my goat then? I do apologize, sir. You have goats so loud. Apologies are accepted. It's a handicapped goat. No, 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 no. I have a spectrum disorder. And the doctor um, um, recommended that I have this goat that takes me around and assists me in all my personal endeavors. <laughs> I do apologize, sir. I... Don't apologize. I have insulted. This is not an apology. It is not accepted. It is a, this is discrimination. You are discriminating against animal. I don't have a dog. I have a goat. You are not going to restrict him with discrimination again. <laughs> okay, you win. You win. It's a prank call. <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir. Is this an April Fool's or are you really looking for a reservation? Well, the irony is I will do this regardless. So it is April Fool. No, it is just a coincidence that it's April Fool. But it is not an April Fool joke. Because I'm going to do this tomorrow anyway. Because <laughs> I'm stupid like that. <laughs> No, 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 no. This is a prank call. I'm prank calling you. You understand it's a prank call, right? This is a prank call. It is not a real call. Hello? Yes, sir. I'm here. Okay. This is a prank call, miss. You're supposed to hang up the phone now. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, who is prank calling who here? You, this is not Valentine's Day. No, have a great day. This is not Valentine's Day. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with this woman? Huh. Next. I'll make one last prank call. One last prank call. Um, you want to get a, a room for one night, yo? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Now I'm Jamaica, man. <laughs> Good evening. Hello? Hello? My name is Winston and I'm from Jamaica. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, Hello? My name is Winston and I am from Jamaica. I want to get a room for two nights, please. For what? I beg your pardon? What day? Uh, the next, I am here now. I'm looking for the next available room. Next available room. I'll take it now. For today, okay. Yes. Let me see. And I want a smoking room too. No, we are not smoking. How oh, well, you can't rent a hotel to a Jamaican if it's a non smoking room? I will pay all the fee. Just give me a jacuzzi with an all smoking room. I want to smoke everything. Weed, ecstasy, Adderall, psychedelics, magic mushroom, um, PCP, dimethyl tryptamine, tetrahydrocannabinoid, the whole nine yards. I just don't do cocaine. But I want a smoking room, please. I'm so insulted. You all are not a, you all are discriminating against me because I am because you all are discriminating against me. I'm so insulted. I'm so sorry that we're not okay. Apology is not accepted. Okay, is there anything else I can do for you? Yes, there's one other thing I'd like you all to do for me, please. Yes. Get me a room with smoking. No, we're not smoking, unfortunately. Can you change that unfortunately to fortunately? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, here. Okay. Magnificent then. Okay, so you're so interested in me, but not smoking? I am a Jamaican. What am I going to do in a hotel if I can't smoke? What is wrong with you, woman? Are you out of your mind? Now, so you're welcome to look out for that thing, Would you Could you recommend a smoking hotel for me, please? I'm not familiar with any around here. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Thanks. Happy, happy, Merry Christmas, Easter. Uh -huh, thank you. Okay, bye. Bye bye. 
I would like to get a room for one night, please. No, I am going to be Africa from Zimbabwe. <laughs> I would like to make a reservation, please. My name is Bubaka and I am from Zimbabwe, Africa. Yes, sir, I just spoke to you. Oh, really? Yes. Well, okay, well, I want to get a room now, but I want to bring an elephant this time. Okay, I'm sorry. You have a big room? You don't have a, a big room for an elephant? Do you, do you all accommodate? Do you know a hotel that is going to accommodate elephants? No, unfortunately, no. Okay, thank you for your service. You're welcome. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I don't have a lot of freaking time here, so let's just calm down time. This is material calm down. You're ready for this? Say yeah. Okay, let's do this. Let's fix this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's put this here. Yeah. Oh, this is not supposed to be. Put this here. Yeah. Testing one, two. Check, 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 check. <laughs> and the waitress came over. Cookie, 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 cookie
shit. Can't see my penis anymore. Can't see my penis anymore. Can't see my penis anymore. I don't see my penis anymore. Sometimes when I get up, I cannot breathe. Doctor say, 